Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's episode, I will be configuring a Palo Alto 220 firewall with SSL decryption. Okay, so right now we're logged in as an administrator on our Windows 10 machine. I'm gonna log into HQ Admin. And once we log in, we're going to log into the firewall, which we already are. All right, so from here, um, we are on the device tab certificates. And as you can see, we have our root, our sub, and our um, firewall certificate configured. If we go into certificates, you can see we have a valid certificate chain. So what we're gonna do first is generate a firewall decryption certificate. So I'm gonna call this firewall decrypt shun. And I'm gonna copy that into the common name. This will be signed by an external authority and it's going to be a certificate authority. And we'll assign the SecNet OCSP. and generate. If there aren't any issues, it should appear in the list. And what we're going to do is export certificate. And we now have our CSR. I'm gonna open this with Notepad, copy that. And go to HTTP uh, we're gonna go to HQ PKI ECA network dot org slash cert serve request a certificate we're gonna submit a certificate using base 64 encoded paste in and we're going to create this using the certificate template SecNet subordinate certificate authority and hit submit. We're gonna get base 64 certificate keep. I'm gonna rename it to firewall decryption. And before I upload it, I'm going to quickly look and see that the chain is good. And then we're going to import. Make sure we have the same name, firewall encryption. Browse. And then we're going to go to downloads. Firewall decryption. And click OK. All right, so after a few attempts, I finally was able to get back in. So we're going to jump over to, to device, jump over the certificates. And import, make sure the name is the same, grab our files, firewall decryption, click OK. And now we have a certificate. So next we need to go into here and forward trust. 
cost. Click OK. And I'm going to commit those changes. And while that is committing, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to open up Edge. We're going to go to LinkedIn's homepage. And then I'm going to click on Developer Tools under More Tools, Developer Tools. And if you click the double arrows, you can jump over to security and view, view certificate. So as you can see here, our certification path is the DigiCert uh, root and sub and the LinkedIn certificate. So now we're going to jump over to policies. Actually, we're going to go back into Chrome. So we're going to leave that. Jump back into Chrome. Okay, do not show. Do not show. All right, so next up, uh, now that our certificate has been uploaded, we're going to jump into policies, decryption. Okay, so we're going to create a new decryption rule. I'm going to call this SSL decryption exceptions. Our sources will be um, all of these, so I'm just going to click any. And our source address will be uh, SecNet HQ network. Our destination will be the WAN. Our services will leave as any. And our categories will be financial services, government, Military, and healthcare. Our options, we're going to say no decrypt, and that's it. Click OK. So this rule must remain at the top, and what we're going to do is basically never decrypt from these categories. So we're going to add a new rule and we're going to say default user decryption. And we're going to add in the user network. Just leave it as any. Destined to the win, any service, any category. We're going to click decrypt and we're going to leave it on SSL port proxy. And for now, we're going to leave the decryption profile as none. 
we're going to commit. So now we can jump back over to our workstation and I'm going to refresh this page and we're going to click on view certificate and the path and as you can see we now have secnet root certificate the enterprise ca the firewall decryption and linkedin as our chain so let's go to google typically google certificates aren't always replaced as you can see here but if we go to let's try facebook Let's try Facebook and we click. Actually, Facebook doesn't change either. LinkedIn does. not and Yahoo does so let's jump back over to the firewall let's go to the monitor tab And if we click on traffic, and then we click on traffic going to the WAN from user network. we can see that the traffic was indeed decrypted. So there's one thing to note when dealing with encryption. There are services that don't always work when you decrypt all traffic. Microsoft, <clears throat> Microsoft updates and activations are one of those exceptions. So what we'll do is jump back over to our policies decryption we'll click on our exception rule click add and we'll say microsoft again we'll say any with our Secnet HQ network as our source address. Destination zone is going to be when, and our categories are going to be activation. And then we'll stick with no decrypt, click OK. And I'm actually going to change this to Windows activation. And I will commit that. So while this is committing, I'm going to jump into objects, URL categories, and I'm going to paste in the Windows Update domains and quick. 
quickly create Windows updates and basically copy these in. All right, so now that that has been completed, I'm actually gonna jump back over the policies, decryption, and add an exception for updates. We'll say any for the source. And segnet HQ network for the source address. Zone is going to be when. And then in category will be Windows updates and no decrypt. So now that we have a forward trust certificate, we need to generate a SSL certificate for untrusted traffic as well. So I'm gonna click generate, and I'm gonna call this firewall decryption. So I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna call this firewall decryption untrust. So I'm gonna copy this to the common name. This will not be signed. Um, for RSA, we'll leave the defaults, and for the expiration, we'll make it 1095, which is three years. We'll click Generate. Sorry. So what we'll do is, so I need to check the certificate authority box as well. Click generate. Click okay. And on the certificate, we will check the untrust certificate. And we do not want to install the certificate on any computers because we want it to show up as untrusted if a user is hitting an untrusted website. Okay, so this concludes our video on setting up SSL decryption on a Palo Alto 220 firewall. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe and click the like button.